Hey guys, it's the team here at Authentic Mission, and I just want to do a little video. It's been a while again. Um, we are going to try and get more consistent with videos and uh, podcasts and stuff, but uh, I just want to talk about something very important to me, which is um, I'm I've I I can't explain in a short enough span how things are going good and why I think that is, um, but. I've been letting go of some things and some guilt from my past. It doesn't mean that I forget. It doesn't mean that I, uh, I'm i claiming to be perfect. Nobody is perfect. But I've just noticed something um, that my supporters um, are starting to understand. And uh, I was talking to one of them yesterday on Canada Day, which, by the way, for any Canadian people that listen to this, I hope you guys had a good Canada day, but, uh, I just honestly want to talk about, like, I've been, um, I've documented my anxiety, my addictive, uh, personality versus addiction, and, um, I've just, ever since I've been letting go of stuff and, and finding my way to express things, um, it's been mentally healing, which, um, I was talking to uh, someone who's within my circle and they were like, uh, this is how your uh, dad died and I get it. That is how my biological father died. Um, hard life of partying and pills. and But I'm done with the partying. I still like my beer and stuff, but I will admit um, I tend to drink more when I'm bummed out or depressed, which... Speaks to the fact that, like, when somebody drinks or does drugs or something, it's nine times out of ten, I would say, um, the people that it becomes a problem for, um, they're running from something or they're running um, to escape something, depending on which way you look at it. And one of my supporters yesterday said, well, this is why, you know, uh, so-and-so hasn't picked up the phone because they know you've been drinking. And, and I get that. Usually when I drink before in the past, it it, it, it ends up turning to like uh, me being hard on myself and hating myself and struggling with so much crap, right? That um, it... But I, I, I'm not trying to make excuses for drinking, but I will say this, that... Ever since I've been letting go of things, I feel like I can drink now and actually enjoy myself uh, versus getting to that dark, hateful um, place. And when I say hateful, I don't mean like I hate other people. I just get to a point where I hated myself because I've wasted so much. Well, in my opinion, I've wasted so much of my um, life experiences I've wasted opportunities but and I did but I would say since I've been acknowledging the pain and some stuff that I've been running from um, and not wanting to hear the noise in my head and I don't mean in a way of like I'm hearing voices so don't worry um, not that I'm trying to make fun of mental health I suffer anxiety I suffer depression um, and that's just a part of how things go. And my circle will see soon one day that, you know, I can, I would say, drink now and be okay and be in a good headspace. And that's because I began the healing process on some stuff. And again, that doesn't mean that I forget. It doesn't mean... Um, but healing means letting go, and it, it, it also doesn't mean forgiving people, but for me, in a sense, it does. Some people would say it doesn't, but for me, it does. I forgive my parents for ignoring certain things. I forgive um, some of the emotional abuse. Um, I forgive some of the even physical abuse. I Don't get me wrong, I didn't get beaten or any shit like that, but I got a few smacks um, it, which is intimidating when you're a guy um, that's as small as I am and you're disabled in certain ways. So, But I just honestly am moving 
towards forgiveness and realizing, hey, my parents did the best they could with what they knew. My parents were um, struggling and were they had their own issues to deal with. So, um, and sometimes the, people just don't want to deal with things. And, and sometimes if they ignore it, um, they feel it goes away. And you're only pushing um, things down. Uh, I had struggled to find myself. I'm still looking to find myself, but I'm also in a healing, better place. So, um, with my past and like, say, you know, I did videos about mental health and my anxiety and pushing people away and, and, and seeing how far I can push on some subconscious levels, somewhat sabotaging the whole thing, right? So, I just, honestly, I, I, I'm not going to say people can eventually learn to manage their own drinking. If you have an alcohol issue or drug issue and you're in recovery, I'm not telling you to walk out of AA or anything like that. I'm just saying what worked for me is artwork and healing and realizing to say to someone, I'm over it. It, it doesn't mean stuff's not going to sneak up, but, um, you know, like regrets and stuff, but it, it, it just makes, I don't know. It's, it's easier to bounce back now. And I hope it continues. I don't know how the beast of depression works. I'm learning as I go. Um, I don't know how the beast of anxiety works. I'm again, learning as I go. And I, <clears throat> I just need to learn to tell people, if you don't fucking like me, that's okay. That's your issue. And I get why some people don't and some people do. And, but it, it, it I'm just saying we need, like, if you're struggling to forgive yourself, just look at, or, or struggling to walk away from an addiction or forgive someone else. Just look at it and say, you don't know. Okay, I'm going to quote something from a movie here, from the movie Mid-90s, which uh, it's not going to be an exact quote, but there's a scene in there that says, you. there's some people that wouldn't give up your shit for their shit, uh, uh, wouldn't give up their shit for your shit and vice versa. You don't know what somebody's been through. You don't know what I've been through. I've shared some of my stories. Um uh, and it's they're still hard to talk about, but when you don't know what somebody's been through, who are you to judge how they feel and why they feel that way? Who am I to do it? So just if you're looking to forgive someone or heal or you, you just have anger in your heart and you're just, that's why you're drinking, you're running from something or you don't like something about yourself, just look at it and say, um, you know, your parents, think about it this way. If you had an abusive parent or you had an abusive spouse, or um, they learned it from somewhere, right? So whether it's um, uh, an internal hate on themselves, a lot of people that are abusive hate themselves or don't feel worthy about the people that they have. So then they, they corner them, make them feel worthless for, um, uh, and make it look like it's about you, but it's actually about them. So, um, you know, like, I, I, I hope I made that easy to understand, but if I didn't, sorry. And, uh, yeah, I'm just honestly like, look, my artwork's going to be getting better soon. We're going to be more podcasts. And I just want to speak about, like, if you want to be your best self, your best artist, your best accountant, your best whatever, if you want to follow you and feel the best you've ever felt in your life, just try to learn to let go of hurt. Like, it, it again, it's not going to, it's going to sneak up, it's going to be there, blah, blah, blah. But, it, and it doesn't mean that you forget, 
It just means you're letting go. Because anger and internal hate or whatever you're struggling with, trust me, it kills you on the inside. It was killing me for a long time. And recently when I was fighting with my care home, um, you know, I thought, well, fuck, I'm getting this because of I, I deserve it because of my my um, my wasted life, my my fuck ups, you know, but no, I let them manipulate me because I was hurting. And I was blind, and they knew I was hurting, so I was blind to the bullshit games and abuse they were playing. Alright, but 